What you know about stretching brains? Stretch your head. That that's what that says. It says stretch your head. On today's Think Share. Hello and welcome to the Daily Think Share. My name is Zach. I'm here to bring to you what I've been thinking about, sharing about, talking about, listening to that doesn't belong in math class. If you're new to the channel, I invite you to subscribe. I produce a video every day. Right now, I'm listening to the 12 Week Year, which it was a book recommended to me via Bigger Pockets podcast for people that are into real estate and are trying to meet their goals for their for the last quarter of their year. Maybe they wanted to have a property, and so he said this is one of the ideas: is that so many people will have some sort of deadline. Maybe it's two weeks from now. The fact is it doesn't take two weeks. It takes as much time as it takes. And oftentimes we're able to accomplish unbelievable amounts of things, you know, an hour, 20 minutes or something. We're given tons of time. It's usually all dependent on the urgency of that deadline. There's a really great TED talk on it. I don't remember it at the moment. I think it's something, the beauty of procrastination or something or how to procrastinate really well. Um, but he talks about the, the urgency monster, which is what gets him to do things. So one of the concepts that was being talked about in the 12 week year was the idea that we have neuroplasticity. There are two parts of the brain. One part is going to help you look ahead towards that vision, which that's your frontal lobe. The amygdala is the other part of the brain, which helps you stay in your comfort zone and stay away from fear. So oftentimes we aren't taking action towards things of our vision because we're allowing our amygdala to overpower the other part of our brain, which is the frontal lobe, which has that vision, has that that futuristic thinking, building something towards the future. One of the one of the great things that that is talked about is that we can train our brains how to function. All we gotta do is exercise that muscle. Just like if you're a righty learning how to shoot layups, if you wanna become a lefty too, you just gotta practice with a lefty. You can do the same thing with your brain. It's a muscle just like the rest of your body. So you gotta practice it. If you don't use it, you could lose it, as they say. The idea of stretching your brain is stepping outside your comfort zone. There's a really great poster I love, which is a circle, and it says comfort zone, and then there's a dot out here, and there's an arrow pointing to it saying where the magic happens. So if we allow ourselves to stretch our brain, stretch our head, stretch whatever we're capable of, we have to first overcome the fact that we think that that we can change our brains. So oftentimes we get so set in our ways, we get so set in habits, and, oh shoot, what's the name of that part of the brain? Part of the Lou Gangle. The Lou Ganglia is the part of the brain that creates habits. So my recommendation to all people that are trying to achieve something, find a way to step outside your comfort zone and allow the, oh, I forgot what it was again, allow the Lou Ganglia to take over. So for example, I hated getting out of bed. One of the things I'm really, really proud of that I love sharing with people is the fact that I've trained my body to jump out of bed at the beginning of the day. What happens is the Lou Ganglia is that thing that is trying to run in efficiency mode. Kind of like when your laptop is on low battery and it shuts off immediately, it the Lou Ganglia wants to figure out how they can do something and so that it can be done efficiently. So for example, most of us, when we wake up in the morning, we have some sort of routine, whether it be flipping our phone on, whether it be making coffee, but we can usually, I'll bet most people could probably get around their house in the dark just by feeling things. I know I do in the morning simply because it's a habit. What you can do is train your brain to have a habit that constantly is stepping outside your comfort zone, comfort zone to the point where it's no longer outside your comfort zone, but what you thought before was uncomfortable is now comfortable. And then you can continue stretching and stretching till you don't recognize yourself anymore. And that's the real goal of achievement, is when we've achieved things that is beyond what we can comprehend, we are now people we did not think we could be. Thank you for watching. Hope this was useful in the comments. Let me know what is it in your comfort zone you refused? Uh, what part of your comfort zone do you stay in? And what's the part that you refuse to step outside of? Maybe it's calling friends, maybe it's asking someone out, maybe it's going on dates, maybe it's setting aside money, maybe it's saying no to things when you should be saving money. Let me know. I'd love to hear it. I'd love to make a follow-up video about those kind of things. Thank you for watching. If you want more, feel free to subscribe. I come up with a video every day. If you want notifications, hit the bell. Stay weird.